How's it going guys? It's Eclipse here and today we look at a tank that probably gets forgotten a lot of the time on World of Tanks console and that is the AMX M4 545, the tier 7 French heavy tank that I feel is really really underrated in the game. We have two really really good gameplays in this video to have a look at this French beast. Um, yeah, certainly two really good ones. It showcases the tank very very well we got a little bit lucky i guess with some of the matchups um, but this one certainly uh, ended up being a fantastic game had to actually carry pretty hard and since i'm on my own it's not so easy to carry your games of course you have a higher win rate usually if you platoon up with mates uh, that you know what you're doing with and that you've played with before of course just bundling in like 70% win rate unicums all in together will probably grant you more wins but if you actually platoon with people regularly then you're going to be able to perform probably to the same degree even if they have less win rate. Now what we're we doing in this game well we realize that we're not going to particularly do very much on the right hand side and so we've got to move in we've got to take that initiative at the beginning of the game because if you don't take the initiative um, at the beginning if you've made a wrong decision or you've decided to do something and you don't want to kind of negate the effect or the impact that you're going to have in the game then of course you need to be doing things like I just did and relocate move if it's possible of course if you're in some in something like a mouse and it's not actually feasible to move halfway across the map then of course don't go doing that um, but you can see what we're doing here is we're just putting pressure continuously on this Tiger P. We're going to try and aim for the tracks here now to track and pen him. We ended up actually damaging the engine but he is not going to be able to survive this and we managed to pick him out for what's that 1400 damage already in a French heavy tank like yeah wow and another damaging hit on the Hulk or the Achilles meaning that we've actually picked up two enemies destroyed within this game now we play a little bit aggressive here because i want to be able to pick up this rudy damage before he gets taken out of the game a progetto unfortunately takes him from us but now we have the back of a t29 to be able to uh deal with and of course yes uh, eclipse didn't aim properly and now yeah we actually missed a shot we would have got an extra shot of damage in there possibly if we didn't bounce that one well we would have and now we're going to put pressure on the Hellcat who's thinking that he can apparently take on the AMX M4 545 which of course is not the case as we managed to pen and track him. He has got the small gun on so he's a little bit of a pea shooter taking off our tracks continuously which is a little bit annoying. And of course we have to be a little bit wary of that artillery that we just saw fire on our left because yeah artillery is artillery and I've got a game clip. Uh, to be showing you in a short video coming up soon and then there you go we got missed by the artillery for 200 damage 2528 damage picked up in this game really really a fairly decent one in the tier 7 of course no one's going to be complaining if you manage to pick up that amount of damage uh, you'd be silly if you were um, but you can see what we're doing now is having to turn around because of course we've lost that flank because nobody was really there and hence why we moved in the first place. We try and put a round into the IS-2M but of course we've got a broken gun so we're going to have to repair that now and then we can put pressure on him. Now of course you see that there is a light tank who we managed to free aim there and get him out of the game or at least take out some of his hit points out of the game to be able to then progress onto this IS-2M and we're going to be probably taking a hit but luckily we don't and the OI manages to shut him down. Now what we've got to do is actually progress further, try and get that light tank before he decides he's going to circle strafe us and take the majority of the hit points and also we want to be able to get into the cap circle to reset the cap if we need to uh, t50-2 is leaving and so now we're going to go through this way because we need to make sure that in case anyone else gets in the cap we are within the range at which we can reset because that's how many many people lose their games is by not going back to try and reset luckily it's only an m4 a3 e2 in the cap meaning that we can put one round into him and then we're going to put another one solid into the side of his tank. We've now got a, a medium tank coming up behind us, the T-3485, probably going to take a hit, but luckily he misses, don't know what he was doing. He then rams us, meaning that he's able to be a one-shot for us to take him out of the game. 
Now it's a two versus four in this scenario. The Hellcat then just gets shut down, making it a two versus three. Two light tanks. You saw that the T50-2 was on about 100 hit points, so it was nothing really special. We've obviously picked up 3,859 damage in a tier seven heavy tank. Fairly and not an average game. Definitely not an average game. Of course, we did just check the team list and we saw that there is actually a KV-2 somewhere in this game. So we've got to be very, very careful that he doesn't get the side of us. Because if he manages to get the side of us, yeah, it's going to be very much curtains for us. T-50-2 takes the wrong turn, but luckily he gets so, so not... Well, not lucky, but, you know, we miss our shot. Lucky that he didn't actually get taken out there. KV-2, obviously, on the move, is never going to hit us with reliably anyway, uh, and managed to pen. T-50-2 is now trying to move. We shut him down with the second one, and now it's on the hunt for the MT-25. Where is he going to be? Well, he's just alerted us to exactly where he's going to be it's in the cap circle so it's time to go back to the cap circle is the oi going to get there before we do is he not is he is he not um well we'll just have to wait and see so now we're moving on trundling back of course the amx m445 has decent mobility you can see we're going 40 kilometers an hour on the flat and if you go downhill of course you can get up to about 50 kilometers an hour 45 kilometers an hour if you do want to put the speed boost equipment which you can put in this tank which i wouldn't really recommend to be honest with you uh, yeah, I'd rather just put in the actual proper uh, perks like the rapid loading or advanced loader. I also put advanced optics and then I think I put ventilation as the third option. Of course, if there is vertical stabilizers, then that is a must in a heavy tank. But I don't know if there is. So, yeah, kind of don't quote me on that. And of course, we managed to secure the victory on the MT-25. wasn't going to be too much of a difficult task. Eight kills, 2,041 base experience, 3,974 damage, 335 blocked. Fantastic game. We still lost silver. That's just probably because I must have been firing premium ammunition. We got the Radley Walters medal, the Devastator, the Mastery badge, the Fire for Effect Bruiser, Top Gun, Duelist, uh, High Caliber, uh, Defender medal. And yeah, of course, we came top of our team. Definitely had a fantastic game and probably by the looks of it, I may even have done like 75% of the damage um, within, well, 75% of my damage uh, probably as the total damage that we did. Uh, we didn't do the most damage in the game more than our team, but yeah, roughly uh, just under that, which is crazy to think that one player can have that much of an impact. Really did go everywhere in our favour. And of course, we'll get into the next gameplay here to continue our talks about the <laughs> kind of overpowered, not over powered um, but definitely very very strong a tank and definitely underrated and I like doing these videos on the underrated tanks within the game now it's time for the second gameplay we have it on Fishman's Bay I am here with my friend Ted he is in the tier 7 Italian heavy tank, no Polish heavy tank, what am I even saying, the 45 TP. This is a pretty underrated tank I think, the 45 TP was actually really really decent when I did see it within these games. I'm not saying that it's particularly overpowered, it's probably not on the same level as the MXM4 45 but you know they're comparatively similar, it gets more alpha and that's kind of the difference between the two tanks. The armor models are fairly similar in terms of how they actually hold up in the game. And of course, it probably doesn't get as much view range as the AMX M4. Uh, but you do get that kind of better accuracy with the AMX M4. And what you see me doing here is just spotting the opponents. You can see that we actually spotted three enemies there. And we've got a little bit of assistance damage. The Tiger 2 there takes a pot shot at us and actually manages to hit which I was surprised about um, but of course he didn't pen because he did hit the turret and this tower it definitely holds up uh, in some scenarios when you're coming up against those tier 7s and tier 8s within the game I'm not going to say that this turret definitely holds up against some of those tier 9s and potentially high caliber uh, tier 8s within the game but yeah it's kind of one of those that you just have to take with a pinch of salt you're not going to be able to bounce very many things but if you do you know you can improve the chances by angling your turret and angling your armor uh, you can definitely side scrape in this tank it does have a fairly decent side of the uh, hull armor which means that you can side scrape off of buildings uh, but you yet again you're probably not going to want to do that 
would I recommend this tank? Um, well, to be honest with you, I think it's a great starter heavy tank. Of course, it's only tier 7, which means that you can actually jump into the tank fairly quickly. It's not going to take you a huge amount of time. Am I going to say that the tier 8 is fantastic? Yeah, that's where the tank line becomes a real problem is when you go further up the tank line. Yes, you can play in the AMX 5100, which I would 100% recommend over playing in the AMX uh, 65T, I think it is, the tier eight within this tank line. Um, but yeah, this one is probably the better of the two and certainly performs way, way better in general uh, than you will in the AMX 65T, the tier eight, because that is basically the same tank, except it's much bigger the turret is even worse, um, and so you're going to get penned pretty much by anything in the game. Definitely a tank that I will not be wanting to choose to play, but I will probably do a video on it when I play it, probably titled the worst tier 8 in World of Tanks, because that's pretty much what it is. Anyway, moving off of the topic of the <laughs> tier 8 within the line, uh, the tier 9 becomes much, much better. The AMX M454, I think it is. And then you get the tier 10, which is uh, fairly decent, to be honest with you. Um, probably not the best heavy tank at tier 10, but, you know, it's definitely not the worst. And you can see that we've pretty much lost this game, um, or at least it looks like we're going to lose this game because we've got pretty much no map control. If it wasn't for me and Ted, this game would definitely not be going too well in our favour. I've picked up 1200 damage and it's looking like I'm not going to get too much more. Uh, we've of course picked up a little bit of spotting damage within this game which is nice and that's why I put in the advanced optics to be able to outspot opponents because you know that little bit of assistance damage can become the difference between going up on your marks of excellence or going down on your marks of excellence because you literally didn't pick an equipment slot and I think advanced optics is probably one of the most valuable things in terms of just trying to progress on your marks of excellence because spotting is so so important in making the combined damage higher yes you're not going to be able to outspot light tanks uh, but in those scenarios where light tanks may have been able to farm you uh, from a distance continuously firing at you within like a, a distance that you cannot actually detect them in well when you put advanced optics on that becomes a lot longer and further away that they're going to be having to stay before you detect them and so yeah, that's where I put it on. I think that that was good to kind of overview that. It's definitely worth putting on, and that's kind of... I think it's good to actually detail why I use some equipment sometimes, because just simply saying, well, this is why you want it on, um, or this is the, the equipment that you want on the tank, it probably doesn't actually mean too much to you, but I guess if I explain it, and I'm sure in many, many other videos, I'll try and do that for you. But you can see here, we're in a bit of a pickle, to be honest. We've got one on our left, we've got three on our right, we've got one behind us in that light tank, and we have no idea where the other TD is. We're putting round after round into the Sergeant Slaughter, who's decided to actually move up. Um, yeah, don't quite know what he was doing there, but definitely when you're reversing, never turn your turret around because it's just pointless, because then you just allow everyone and anyone to actually pen you, regardless of the frontal hull armor that you may have on the tank because obviously everyone's going to aim at the turret if they can Projector 54 there sat out in the open put a few rounds into him we're up to 300 XP so of course we know that it's a fairly decent game we've picked up 2200 damage and a decent amount of assistance and yeah you can see already we've picked up 3.6 K combined damage and that is really really nice of course it's not necessarily the best game that you'll ever see but now is the point at which this gets good we're going to have to progress to be able to spot for our team of especially when we've got those TDs in the back if I can manage to spot the opponents I'm going to get a decent amount of assistance because you know no one else is going to be out spotting them unless it's uh, Ted to the left of me which of course he may do um, but for the most part because I probably have better vision range I'm going to be able to get that assistance damage instead now unfortunately for me in terms of actually trying to have the best game of my life uh, in the AMX M445 probably not likely because yeah, the enemy health point or health points, hit points, whatever you want to call them, aren't that meant that aren't that much at the moment in this game, and so yeah, we're probably not going to have that super super high damage game. 
but you can see what we're doing here is just getting that assistance as you see the assistance damage racking up i think we're at 1900 in the tank already so 4k combined total now what we need to do as we spot the su 130 pm we try and just get a snappy shot into him before he gets taken out from the game and because we have a decent reload and we know where he's going to be we can put in the final shot into him meaning that we secure the victory and the kv just decides to come outside on not entirely sure what he's going to do and given that the scorpion g is on 10 health against two other tanks we're not going to get there and he gets picked up i've got really really decent game Finishing off a few challenges, as you see in the top right, assisting in two and a half thousand damage, not in one game, granted, uh, but yeah, 2,629 damage, a nice carry at the end, 1,900 assistance, 4.1k combined to get, oh no, 4.5k combined together, really, really decent game. Good one for YouTube, and it shows off the AMX M4 MLE 50, 45. Am I saying the tank is broken? No. Is it a really good tank that is definitely an underperformer within the game and definitely underrated? Yes, 100%. Really, really good tank. Would recommend it uh, at least to try, and definitely as you're going towards the AMX 50B, which is a fantastic French heavy tank. Yeah, I really do think that this tank is a fantastic one to play. Thank you very much for watching. Of course, if you want to check out more gameplay episodes, I will put one on screen that you can have a look at. And you can always check out the channel and the playlist in the channel that showcase some of my best games and gameplays and reviews of tanks as well on World of Tanks console, Modern Armor. And yeah, thanks very much for watching again. And I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.